Look, I don't know whether this happened to you, but you're driving pretty slowly on a crowded freeway, either coming to work or going back home at night. And zoom up between the lanes goes, uh, you know, a guy in a motorcycle five or six times faster than anybody else. And you already resent the guy because he's going to get there faster than you are. But you, you wonder, is this possibly legal? Doesn't, isn't this dangerous for these motorcyclists to be going, uh, you know, up between the lanes? It's called lane splitting. And uh, the CHP, well, they have an opinion about this. And to help us to analyze it, legal analyst and civil trial attorney, Cezan Oigar is with us. Cezan, welcome to the program. Thank you so much, Roger. I'm glad you're here. Now, you're with the law firm of Neil Daimot. Daimot, you got it. Daimot. <laughs> I'm actually pronouncing everything correctly today. I'm on a roll. <laughs> All right, so the CHP has informed us that this is actually legal, even though all the surrounding states, Arizona, Nevada, Oregon, Washington, illegal. You got it. Hold it's on. legal here. Hold on to your helmets. It is legal in the state of California. We are the only state that is actually legalized lane splitting. So like you said, it's where a, a motorcycle will kind of cruise in between the lanes, in between two moving vehicles, and kind of white line it as what they're saying. So Isn't this dangerous as heck? It, it is dangerous, but I think you can kind of look at it on two sides. So what the CHP has done is they've issued these new guidelines where it's saying, all right, competent motorcyclists, they can do this lane, uh, lane splitting. Well, you kind of wonder, what's a competent motorcyclist? Is that just by getting a motorcycle license, does that make you a competent? You don't necessarily, if you're over the age of 18, you don't have to take motorcycle safety classes. So what, you know, that it can be anybody who's kind of getting on the bike and doing this. As long as this. you got a license. As long as you got a license, you can do it if you're over the age of 18. Um, what the guidelines are saying, you should stick to the furthest two lanes, so kind of staying away from oncoming, oncoming traffic, which can be a little right. more uh, dangerous. Also. You should not lane split if the traffic is going 30 miles per hour or faster. And the actual motorcyclist can only lane split 10 miles per hour faster than the, the traffic around them. Okay, those are all the uh, great rules for the right. CHP. <laughs> Have they been on the highways lately? These guys aren't going just 10 miles faster. No, than they're we speeding are. and darting. They're going 15 miles an hour. They're going 40, 45. Yeah, no, ab absolutely. And, and kind of another thing that, that's a little interesting for us, for I'm not a motorcyclist, but for you know the actual cars on the road, if you do anything to impede that motorcyclist from lane splitting, you're going to get a ticket. Wow. Yeah, so if you open up, like in the movies, you open up yeah. that car door, that's, that's, that is in the California Vehicle Code. If you open up your car door to prevent a motorcyclist from cruising by to lane, you know, lane split, yep. you're going to get a ticket. So, <laughs> can't be Bruce Willis out there. All right, so here's some Bruce pictures Willis. of these guys doing what they do. Uh, and, and again, uh, I guess this is a California state law that allows it. The CHP is trying to come up with some reasonable regulations here. In fact, they call it the four R's. Reasonab be reasonable, responsible, respectful. And then the fourth R, I guess, is road. Be aware it's of the nice. road. Yeah, roadway conditions. Yeah. I mean, that's just common sense. Like, you think about how, you What's know, wide. What's common sense about motorcycle riding? I don't do it either because it terrifies me, which my, my father called them murder cycles. You know, you're going to kill yourself on these things. Now, I know a lot of people enjoy them. Certainly. But this, is, this must be a relic of some Hollywood thing, you know, some, some Hollywood star that said, I want to ride my, you know. Hair blowing back in the wind. Yeah, what is this? Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean. It's easy rider. I mean, what's going on here that these guys have a special privilege that no other state around us allows motorcyclists to do? No other state has it. And, you know, my, motorcyclists in the state of California are a minority. Um, in 2000, I believe it was 2009, there was only 650,000 registered motorcycles in the state of California. So when you're looking at these guidelines, I think it's interesting to kind of consider, well, is this just an educational push to, you know, really protect the public welfare and look at, what are the statistics as to how many casualties there are from, you know, from motorcycle collisions? What state officials have said when these guidelines came out, there really hasn't been a study as to lane splitting in particular. What are the fatalities and the injuries that are caused by lane splitting? So I think, you know, the state of California has got a little, you know, they've got some homework to do. They've um, contacted University of California, Berkeley, mm. to look into some um, statistics as to, you know, these all these injuries, all these deaths that are um, from motorcycle accidents, how, how much can we contribute to lane splitting? We had 9,600 uh, people were injured in 2009 from motorcycles. If you look at 1998 to 2008, the statistics say for deaths, it increased 175%. That's a lot. 2010 wow. stats, they're down, but that's a lot of people dying from motorcycle collisions. And I'm sure the motorcycle people would say the crazy riders, are, or the uh, car drivers, aren't keeping their eye out for us. That's what they're saying, but the stats are saying uh, the clear majority of deaths and injuries from motorcycle collisions are actually caused by the motorcyclist. So, oh boy. it's kind so, of a bummer for them. 
I'm sure this also clogs up the courts because every one of those statistics is somebody who got injured or killed, and they're obviously in a wrongful death or, or injury kind of tort lawsuit yeah. somewhere along the line, right? You got it. And, you know, as a lawyer and you're looking at these these guidelines, what I want to know and what kind of the first thing when I saw these guidelines, I'm like, well, are these guidelines really a lawyer employment act to be, yeah. to be serious? So you've got the guidelines. What is that going to do? I think that that's potentially going to push some, you know, some sort of legislation to potentially restrict some of these privileges, whether you're on the side of motorcyclist lane splitting or not. I, I do think that this might be, you know, the next step, push legislation, which is going to restrict the privileges even further. And is it just a revenue type scheme, you know, with more legislation, with more restrictions, that means more tickets and that means more, more revenue money. for the state of California. More money. More, Boom. more money. Yeah. That is <laughs> more the money. unofficial state motto. More money. It used to be yeah. Eureka, but that's more <laughs> money. So, so the motorcycles are saying, oh yeah, the insurance companies are already down on us because mm -hmm. insurance rates have probably skyrocketed as a result of all these accidents. Absolutely. We're in court on all this stuff, so the, the, the lawyers are happy, but the criminal justice system isn't so happy because mm -hmm. it's already clogged with other stuff. And then you've got the situation where the legislature, they love to intervene on anything. Right, and Oregon, because of these guidelines, now we have an Oregon senator who has pushed through a bill to actually legalize lane splitting in Oregon. Oh. It, the rule's gonna be a little more strict in Oregon instead of 30 miles per hour, which you can lane split in California. It's going to be 20 miles an hour there. But I think we're starting to see it already. My friends are threatening to get me out on a motorcycle. How about you? You got to drive a motorcycle on our freeways? I'll watch and say hello. <laughs> I'll be waving from a nearby yeah. car. <laughs> the safety of my Put car. Put me on a bike. You can keep the motorcycle. I'll be on a bike. <laughs> we're going we're to, uh, we, we have a Twitter question. Well, oh, next. We're coming up. That's right. We're coming up with a Twitter question next on lane splitting. See what you think about that on these motorcyclists on the freeway. Says an Oigar, thanks very much for coming in.